Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. And I'm the Lunchbox. And uh, this one may not come out in October, but it's always Oktoberfest in my heart. And who doesn't love a good Oktoberfest? <laughs> it like, is literally my favorite style of any beer. Any time of the year. Always uh, good. You know, the Marzins, the Fist beers, all that. Now, this is the Leinenkugel Oktoberfest. How do you say that? Leinenkugel. I'm glad he's saying that. I looked it up. Not Where's kidding. that from? Chippewa Falls. It even says on here the pride of Chippewa, Chippewa. Falls. The pride of Chippewa Falls. Now, this is a Marzen. Sounds and... like such a mystical place. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, full disclosure, I've had this a few times. And I haven't had it yet. yet so. Fantastic crown cap for his collection. Now, it's 5% alcohol. Well, I think it's 5.1. But that's one of the that's things about the Marzins is they're kind of a lower alcohol beer because I'm pretty sure I mean, they're going to tell you whatever. But let's be honest. This is a German style of beer that was a kind of a low alcohol beer. So what that meant was, hey, this is like what is to us now the day drinking beer. Yeah, drink all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like have one of these. And we go. can drink it all day long and still get shit done. Yeah. And, well, it was the Marzen, so it was kind of like the hangout party beer, too. So, like, this was the do-everything beer. Okay, not get much done. Yeah, maybe. We'll get partying done. All right. Marzins have the awesome amber color. Mm. Um, yeah, they are. Lots of bubbles. Yes. Very carbonated. I like that in my Oktoberfest. Like I said, I am an Oktoberfest fiend. A little bit ahead. Yeah. Now, the thing you're going to notice with a light, like a good Marzen is you're going to, when you smell it, it's going to kind of smell like bread. I remember that. Yeah. Very yeasty. Right. Mm. Well, it's almost like a Subway if it was drunk. <laughs> now, here's the funny thing. Like this October season, I drank multiple six packs of these, but I never got around to filming it because I was too busy drinking it. Well, you're filming this one. I know. Okay. That is a well-rounded Oktoberfest. Mm. Wow, I'm gonna have to have another drink. Okay. It's there's not too much going on. It's very malty. Yeah. It's really smooth, but the carbonation kind of dances around in your mouth. I think that's what it did. The mm -hmm. the carbonation kind of um plays with it. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as intense or as rich as I thought it would be. Pleasant surprise. Mm-hmm. But this is like the now I can see that. It's not very heavy. I think too. So I don't, I, I wouldn't feel Yeah. I, I could drink several of those. But it's 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 full flavored, but it's not overpowering. Yes, this is one of those that I say is full flavored, but it's not too robust. Right. Exactly. I also think Marzen's in particular, of all the fest beer, Oktoberfest styles, uh, goes particularly well with food. Hmm. Uh it, it'll stand up to something that's greasy or even spicy but it doesn't overpower things you can have something mild with it i want a sandwich with it mm -hmm. uh for me i always want bratwurst mm -hmm. i can see that but I'm, I'm, i'd like a nice uh deli sandwich mm -hmm. yeah honestly i wish pe uh, there some breweries would just make marzins all year long i think it'd be great i would just buy them all year long I mean, I honestly even buy some and kind of stick them in the closet so I can have them on in through the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. <laughs> it's dark. It's cool. It's right. chilling. He sellers them there. Mm -hmm. um, as you can tell, I've had it before. I enjoy it a lot. And, uh, I'm enjoying this one yeah. a lot. Mm. That is a tasty brew. It yeah. is. And, and like, like we discussed. And the, and the funny thing is, low it, alcohol. we we are filming this a little past October, but we're, we're standing at the grocery store trying to figure out which ones we want to film. And I was like, eh, we hadn't done that Oktoberfest yet. I know it's past October, but let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I did, because that's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. So... Did you dig it? Absolutely. Would you have another? Uh, if I can find some more. If you can find some more? Mm -hmm. 
We found right, these at our local grocer, so it wasn't real hard to find. I mean, I found them at the grocery store a couple of times before. I just drank them all and didn't <laughs> film any. Yeah, it so, happens. I, I um, caught this one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't film it for you. He was like, I don't think we've done that one. And I was like, ah, I'll look. Let's buy it anyways. Pick six. Uh, I would say, is it six pack worthy? Absolutely. But yeah. in a pick six, definitely, if you've never had this and you even joy put two or three in there yeah go ahead uh it's it's a fantastic margin uh now if you're enjoying this video which i hope you are uh go ahead hit that like button you can even subscribe i do this three times a week uh hopefully we're going to add some more kind of uh different shows in here too that are very beer related uh hoping to add some new things but we get right down to it. We rate on a scale of one to ten pints up. How many pints do you give it? I'm saying seven. Okay. For me, it's an eight. Um, like I don't know what's keeping it from an eight, but I think it's that might be what's keeping it from an eight is the fact that it seems like it's missing something, and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's but it sandwich. doesn't. It might be. It might even. I'm telling you. It might even be that. Um, but that's just the, the feeling that I have from it is like it's really, really good beer. It's just missing something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. So that's why I put it in a seven. Um, you could very easily be an eight if I find it next time I drink it. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It's a sliding scale. I'm an eight. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you had a fantastic Oktoberfest. Um, and if you didn't, Keep looking for Oktoberfest beers and maybe it'll make this one better. They should look up all our other Oktoberfest reviews. Well, I do actually have all my Oktoberfest in a playlist. There you go. So there Find you go. Find that when you're subscribing to his channel. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'll probably leave a link at the end of the video. So there you go. Into your next Oktoberfest adventure. Cheers.